Since the fire broke out, there has been a steady stream of people driving past the church to uh, get a look at this cherished piece of their community. The main question on all of their minds, why would somebody want to do this? It's a beautiful little church. Hate to see it go. Jim Conkright attended the church in 2001 to the day it closed, long before it became the Cecilia Wedding Chapel. And we came over here and it was just like family, so, you know, whenever you go in a place like that, you want to come back, so we just came back. He came back this time to get a first-hand look at the damage Monday's fire left behind. The fire investigators with the Hardin County Sheriff's Office are now calling suspicious. Why would anybody want to burn something like that? I mean, that's the house of God. I mean, why would you destroy something like that? That's a question the chapel's owner, Anna Aikens, is grappling with herself. It's very hard to it, deal with the chapel burning, but to know someone did it, it's really um, hard to understand that. For now, Aikens is keeping close these pictures that show the hard work she and her husband put into restoring the church. And she plans to add one more before it's torn down for good. We wanted to get everybody together, everybody that's had any connection to the church, to the entire community to come out and do a picture in the front yard. Drew Gardner, WLKY News. And the owners plan to take that picture at 4 Sunday afternoon. Right now, the Hardin County Sheriff's Department says the fire remains under investigation. New at 11, police have opened a homicide investigation after a body was found in the basement of a house in the Parkland neighborhood. Just after midnight, officers say a body was found at a house on Virginia Avenue near 32nd Street. Right now, detectives say it's difficult to tell if there are any injuries because of how long the body may have been there. The medical examiner is now looking into the cause of death, but investigators have ruled it a homicide.